what interests me about Senghor and Fazer is the attempt to kind of uh, think and uh, invent cosmopolitanism at the level of political form. They didn't believe that a, a simple form would solve all the problems, that suddenly there would be human reconciliation and redemption if you got the Constitution right. But they, were, they, they also understood that constitutional forms and political formations are crucial frameworks within which to pursue human emancipation, human self-realization. So the project was how to build on the interdependencies that empires had created but to create a kind of democratic and emancipatory political form from that. And that has been something that has been extremely difficult for critics and scholars uh, and anti-colonial thinkers to grasp. But as I started reading Césaire on decolonization and reading the way he was speaking about uh, Victor Chercher from the 1840s and Toussaint Louverture from the 1790s, and started looking at his poetry and, and realized how attentive he was to time and temporality and to the kind of conjuncture between the problem of freedom and the politics of time. And I had this really nice experience where reading him was puzzling in some ways and it made me think of Walter Benjamin and Ernst Bloch. And I reread some of that stuff. And I realized I had a whole different way into them after spending a few months uh, living with Césaire, but the opposite was also true. And as I dug into them, it gave me all kinds of ways back into Césaire. They believed that decolonization, this kind of restructuring of the global order, did not only create an opportunity, but a responsibility for them to rethink the way in which humanity was organized on a global scale. They all took aesthetics extremely seriously. They all took poetics extremely seriously, not only as a practice or a domain of inquiry, but they really thought that poetics and aesthetics allowed ways to see and grasp and know the world that weren't otherwise available. I really do think we can't fully understand uh, some of their non-self-evident or counterintuitive political projects without recognizing their poetic orientation to the given world. And what they were interested in is the ways in which alternative possibilities are often sedimented within existing arrangements. So for me, the kinds of questions that they were asking about uh, post-imperial democracy uh, are incredibly relevant. What we've lost is the fact that people like Se Senghor and Césaire, at a moment of world historical transformation, were world historical thinkers. They were thinking about the future of the world. 